Hello gaming world, I'm Gamer Mom. Welcome back to my gaming channel. I just saved the game and stopped recording and I walked around the corner to see, you know, if anything changed around here. And it did. The guy is out of the way and I guess the museum's open. Not too far from the save point, so uh, I might play a little bit more. Abydos Museum proudly holds the finest collection of jewels in the land. Gathering these priceless exhibits began many generations ago, and they have been discovered scattered across the world. Due to their uniqueness, the jewels have been placed in impenetrable maximum security cases. To avoid confronting our armed guards, please keep well back while observing these exhibits. Okay. Sorry sir, the Hall of Jewels isn't open yet. If you go to the reception, you might be in time to catch the mayor performing the grand opening ceremony. Y'all got a lot to read, man. The jewels on display are some of the most beautiful artifacts ever encountered. While experts have determined some of the facts surrounding these enigmatic jewels, many of the finer details remain shrouded in mystery. I don't want to read anymore, man. I don't want to read anymore. <laughs> I know, like, that's the whole point of, like, going to museums is to learn about the things that you're looking at. Aww. But uh, I like to see. <laughs> we are here on this auspicious day for the grand opening of the first hall of the Abydos Museum, the pride of the city. This important event highlights the continued interest from the Council for the Cultural Development of our city. Holding a public exhibition, in the new Hall of Jewels, the collection of Abydos. This illustrious collection showcases hundreds of years of our grand history. Ah! My word, I'm afraid that we need to interrupt the ceremony. Why? What has happened? We no longer have a jewel collection. It has been stolen. Just a few minutes ago, <laughs> there's a sarcophagus in the room. What? Who? How? Oh dear, will it ever end? This is becoming the ruination of the city. First the appearance of the electric eels, and now this. We will have to take extreme security measures throughout the city to create points of control. Only a sarcophagus mm. remains in the collection. What sarcophagus? We don't have a sarcophagus in the collection. Oh, what a mess. We had better go back to the council chambers to discuss this further. Alright, so shall we go? I'm not talking to anybody else, I'm going straight in. Let's see what this sarcophagus is all about. Wait, was it in here? We, this is, I feel like this is like a history lesson. The mummy eagle is one of the biggest birds known to exist. Its great size and strength mean that it can easily pick up people. Whoa. This ability has been known to be exploited by the Asians, who use an eagle stone to summon the birds. Oh, uh... Alright, I'll, I'll read up on y'all later. I'm just trying to find a sarcophagus. Sarcophagus! It's more. Alright, I'm probably gonna like check all of this stuff out when. I don't know when, but not now. <laughs> Trying to get this up. Action, man! Whoa, look at that guy. I, I don't see your sarcophagus. Oh, look at him. We met him before. What the heck? I remember him too. Having flashbacks. Where is the sarcophagus, though? Was it in the first room? Let me check all these. Wait. This way. Was it this way? Was it this way? No, it's this way. I'm trying to leave. Maybe I should talk to these people first. 
What do you have to say? Welcome to the museum. I'm afraid. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Are you from out of town? Yes. Ah, yes, I thought so. You look like an adventurer. Perhaps you would be interested in helping this great city. We're going to complete the wildlife exhibit soon. We aim eventually to exhibit a specimen of all animals in the world. We're hoping to get contributions from well-traveled adventurers such as yourself. Are you interested in contributing? Ah, yes. Excellent. All right. I'm tired of reading. Can I play? If you capture an animal for the exhibition, come and see me. If you should happen to find any of the stolen jewels on your journeys, talk to my associate. Okay. Valuable gift. Yeah, that's probably the uh, the thingamajiggy. Greetings. I'm the jewel expert. As you may have heard, we've lost all of our jewel expertise. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I get it. What do you want me to do? Because you all want me to do something. I don't have any jewels. I'm ready to leave. Where's the sarcophagus? I didn't even see this room the first time. What the heck? What do you want? What? Mm. Leave me alone. Okay. So. That's not for me to mess with, I guess. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I guess we're done with the museum as far as finding some monsters and yeah, or some jewels it's nothing really to be done Who, how, what do you have to say ah. enjoy the museum sir there ain't nothing special well um sheesh i really don't know what to do now went to the museum there was nothing really to be done um sarcophagus she doesn't want to speak to me I say she is I don't know she kind of sounded like a lady you look like an adventurer when I was young I used to love stories about adventurers is that all you have to say have you visited the great Abydos museum it's fascinating I did but there's no jewels in theirs all right you don't have nothing else to say got it so the dialogue changes it's mm. good to know this juggling guy is brilliant, you said that. <laughs> How do I get a monster? Oh, what if I buy, can I buy a monster and then sell it to the museum? Or is that, let's do that. I'm actually gonna try to do that. Okay, yeah, this video is definitely gonna be short because I'm feeling a little bit winded. My lungs aren't, you know, working super great. Um, I am a little sick still. Um, I said that in the last episode. 360. I'm gonna buy the cheapest one. Just in case I need. Rat. <laughs> Alright, I'll get this guy. to buy more. Oh, thank you. Please, look around. Maybe you'll find something else that interests you. Thank you. Now, back to the museum. Let's see if that changes anything. I'm actually really interested. It's like very minor things, I feel, that I remember about this game. This bird, everybody's like a bird person, for the most part. In this area. Um, would you like to donate something? Yes. Small frog. 
clearly small but also toxic. Why, thank you so much for your donation, sir. The former glory of our museum is beginning to be restored. As a reward for your contributing an animal to the city's museum, I would like to present you with this. Yes, it Lando. It allows you to use the numerous zip lines located around the city. It's easy to use the zip lines. So just stand near to the end of the zip line and jump, and that's all there is to it. All right, and that will be the next thing that I'm able to do in the city. Um, where did I come from? Because there's a lot of zip lines, so yeah. Uh, but also, I need to get identification to go into like the council area. But I guess maybe I'll figure that out when I actually do a little zip lining. So I'll use the zip line in the first area that I saw it, which is over here. Nice! Can I ride the boat? I'm not gonna try to jump into it either. <laughs> How do I get back up though? Ooh, I love it. <clears throat> Save really fast. Alright. Take a sip of some water, and now let's see. I'm gonna check out some of those zip lines really fast. I know there's one up there, right? Yeah, there's one up there that leads over there. So she should have to go back upstairs. Also, let me get in front of the bike. <laughs> My um, indoor garden just came in. So that's nice. I can finally grow my like tomatoes and lettuce. Like I have carrots. I have a few vegetables that I want to grow. Not, I'm not a huge vegetable eater at all, which is why I want to grow my own. Um, ooh, that's a red one. I guess the colors just uh, signify a different amount, maybe. So probably gonna walk around for another like five more minutes and then call it a video so I can clean up a little bit and rest before I have to head out. I'm gonna get my boy. I miss him. I, do. I wish I wasn't sick. I hate getting sick when you know I'm mothering. I mean when I'm I don't know living like <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Just yeah living which includes mothering and taking care of myself it's hard to do that when you're sick stomach the stomach bubbles man i got the stomach bubbles oh hi hi i'm kansu the boat captain you see like you seem like a typical guy who loves adventure. My services include holiday trips of all kinds at very reasonable prices. If you like, I can provide transport to Heliopolis for a mere 25 scarabs. You know what? Let's go. I I mean, there was only a couple of more places to check out uh, as far as zip lining goes. But even with that, it's like, the museum is done. I can't double jump, so I can't even do the challenge. The guy is still juggling. There's nothing changed with him. So yeah, I'm, uh, other than that, and then getting the papers. I probably should have checked around a little bit more, but... Oh, what's going on now? Am I going to be the mummy again? Oh, no, because I'm going through the portal. Oh, wow. Story continues. Ah, oh, I don't believe it! Defeated by a juvenile that I don't even know! The magical device has returned us to the Dark Castle! And now this? We can use his life energy to take his shape! Now he's worthless to us! I have my assistants to throw him in the jail to rock with the other corpses! Whoa! That's... Whoa! 
the loss of the warping amulets thanks to our unwanted trip also causes me concern. This is a bitter blow. Wow. Without these amulets, it will take longer than anticipated to reach our objectives. A setback this is, perhaps, but defeat? Puff. Everything is going according to plan. Master, how can you say that? Now the Tatan Tatankumen <laughs> Tutankamen has been eliminated. I will use Akina Ten shape and explain to all that Tut has died in an accident. Okay. That will give me power and luxury. The rest will be easy. Yes, that is true. Nobody will dare say that you are not his brother. Yeah, I kind of suspected something. I was like, nah, there's no way that this man is really his brother. Yeah, that all makes sense now. Of course not. My disguise is perfect. And about that youngster interrupting the ceremony, I know who he is. He is a student of Impotech, that foolish geriatric, geriatric magician. <laughs> this story is getting wild, oh my god. This apparent defeat will be useful to confuse his feeble mind further. He will never know what's really going on. He doesn't even realize I was there. Master, you're a genius. We need to be careful for now. And when the ray is powerful enough, nothing will stop us. Defeating Impotep will be as easy as crushing an insect. Ugh. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of story! And that's a lot of... Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna have to call it a video already. I mean, it's been 20 minutes, but it, it feels shorter because I know I usually go for like 30, but... Wow, that was a lot of story. I had to take in and wrap my brain around it so everything makes sense. This is crazy. And it looks like some challenges happen here. Everywhere. It's all a challenge, huh? Here we are, Heliopolis, at last. This was once a great kingdom. Now it's no more than a forsaken desert wasteland. Awesome. Personally, I think you should have stayed in Abydos. You won't find much here other than sand and vicious monsters. In fact, that's precisely why I'm sailing back to Abydos immediately. <laughs> I'll be back around these parts in a few days. I might see you then. I guess in a few days is when uh, I will be ready to leave. I'm going to try to find a safe point, and I might know exactly where that is. Ah, there it goes. I'm not talking to any- nope, nope, nope. I'm not talking to anybody. Y'all keep your problems to yourself for right now. I'm gonna save, and Sphinx is gonna take a nap, and I'm gonna take a nap and relax a little bit. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time on Sphinx and the Person Bye, good shit,